Civil society organizations have threatened to sue government regarding oil compensation issues which they say have been mishandled in the Bunyoro region. The National Association of Professional Environmentalists together with the Africa Institute for Energy Government say the entire compensation process has been handled in a manner that is going to make communities suffer a lot. Communities are not refusing. All they want is what is it that uh, I am giving to government and what is it that the government is giving to me. Everybody is being told please sign for money, whether you want it or not. Whether you have the capacity to go and look for land and shift your family, you have only an option of receiving the money, which we think really is not good. This, as residents from 13 villages in Hoima, demand clear handling of compensation, which they say has been mishandled. The affected persons are those from areas of Kabali, Kijumba, Bukona, Katoke and others. The areas affected are those where government has proposed the construction site for the oil refinery. Residents from these areas say they are made to sign forcefully receipts of compensation without being consulted on how much money they should get. And even after signing, they don't receive the money. Imagine one acre of the land that's paying at 3.5 million and people outside the refinery. I had the announcement put on the media that uh, one of them is put an announcement that he's having four acres and he wants 20 million. And a bunch of matope in our village is ranging from 4,000 to 6,000. Now imagine they are giving you only uh, 5,000 for the whole clamp. And in a clamp you have 10 suckers. A bunch is selling at 5,000. Now what does that one mean? Residents are so opposed to the money proposed to them because it's rated at the old rates of 2011 and thus not at the current rate. Where we are going, uh, the value is going to be high. We wanted the rates to be displayed so that we know. Un Trambereti says they have petitioned the number of offices over the matter, but all in vain. The government has to protect the, the rights of the indigenous people and ensure that that migration and acquisition of the properties of local people is slowed down.